Thanks, dude. Sure. Down in the sand here, everyone. Woo! Uh, you probably, this goes without saying, but it's really difficult for a guy in a monkey costume to be embarrassed. <laughs> so, but I want to give a huge King Kong thank you to Zach Sandry for organizing all of this. And uh, he and I have known each other for eight years. We met each other our freshman year of college in the dorms. And at the time, his roommate was this terrible, raging alcoholic. And my roommate was Zach Sandry. <laughs> I know it's been mentioned a few times, but I'm wearing a monkey suit. And I came up with some monkey jokes. And <laughs> hope you guys are ready. So, got on Tinder the other day. And I know everyone in the room is groaning like, great, another monkey on Tinder. Not enough of those. <laughs> you know, I'm not the most attractive guy, but on a scale from prime one to prime 10, I'm easily a prime eight. <laughs> <laughs> so I went on this date with this girl and we went to one of my favorite restaurants. It was the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> I had a club salad. Or no, I had a club sandwich, and she had a Caesar salad. There's no monkey joke there. But uh, it wound up being like $200 for the two of us. But uh, when you're a top banana like me, that's really just chimp change. <laughs> Things were going so well, I thought I'd introduce her to my parents. So we went over to Lincoln Park Zoo. <laughs> and when they found out I was going out with a human, they went apeshit. <laughs> Thus concludes the portion of my routine about monkey jokes. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! You guys ready to move on? Like those got pretty painful towards the end there. <laughs> but let's uh, let's you know let's pull a harambe. Let's let's kill the subject. <laughs> So, going on a lighthearted note, I don't know if everyone knows this, I'm sure you can assume, but the building we're in now used to be an old moratorium or mortuary, whatever you want to call it. But I really like what they've done with the place. It's, <laughs> you can hardly tell. <laughs> and uh, according to someone, I didn't know this for myself, but the bar is very reminiscent of the bar from The Shining. So, it's a red room, red room, red room. <laughs> So, before we move on, I'm going to take a quick survey of the audience. Uh, show of hands, who here is comfortable with blind jokes? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Guys, we've got 20 minutes together. This is going to swim in I am. So I don't know how many people raised their hands or not, but I hope a lot of people did. And even if you didn't, it's okay, because a lot of my blind jokes are pretty subtle. You probably won't even see them coming. <laughs> I know I won't. <laughs> a friend recommended a movie to me, and the movie is called Kids. Has anyone seen that movie? Ooh. <laughs> if you've seen the movie, you wouldn't be clapping. It's terrible. It's about a bunch of teenagers doing drugs and having unprotected sex, and everyone gets AIDS. <laughs> I think, it, I think it might be a Disney movie. <laughs> well, it raises the question, what is it about me that would cause someone to recommend it to me? <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. So, they recommended it to me, and who am I to object? Sure, I'll see your movie. And I can't tell you the last time I paid for a movie. So I do what I do every time I want to watch a movie. I go to Google and I search for the movie's name. So I was there searching for, watch kids online. <laughs> I think it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> so despite my best efforts and Nine Inch Nails, still wound up becoming a sex offender. <laughs> for those of you keeping track, that was two pedophilia jokes in about two minutes. I like to consider myself the Law & Order SVU of comedy. It's, sure, a little crude, maybe a little taboo at times, but come on, it's everyone's favorite. Right, one microphone, one cup, one cane. 
I should try juggling. Like, <laughs> I guess I'll take a moment and introduce myself to those of you in the room that don't know me. My name is Bill Schmidt. On the streets, they call me Big Billy B.